Right, it's time for another review. This time I'm using my wife's table here. Because ma, I'm, I'm doing it on another station right now. And they are out, so they're trying to clean some of the area. But yeah, uh, it's part of the series, so let me unpack it for you. <clears throat> and it comes in this uh, nifty little package here right and it's called a swiss card classic from uh, victorinox and uh, there are a lot of fake of this one i'm gonna show you later a fake version of this one on another review video a comparison of the fake and the original victorinox right so first and foremost it comes in this type of packaging which usually the fake does not and then you have this um qr code in here to verify your version right and then you have this tab that shows that so shows us what's inside right and then a couple of things where it comes from and a couple of information of what's included right so as you can see there but we're gonna pull it out one by one for you so you'll see it right and uh, I'm just gonna pull out the tab here uh, usually it does have a sticker on the tab right here so that yeah you can see here from inside you'll have this sort of signature here right and then the card itself so once you pull, pull it out there's a couple of information as well you can see here inside so this kind of presentation shows you that this is a genuine card right so it's credit card size um, definitely right in my hands it feels so Right, so I'm just gonna, because there's a little bit of more light, I'm gonna just gonna zoom in a little bit, right? So you can see here uh, more clearly, right? So that's what what detail is. They have um, transparent black for this one, uh, red, a couple of things. But this one that I ordered, I'm quite bummed uh, because there's some sort of scratch here. Might be from the shipping right and then if you look at it it does look really well made right plastic but i'm really bummed from the shipment it had some scratches here as you can see on the video i hope you can see it if you're looking at a widescreen you're probably gonna see the scratch right so it scratches easily that's one thing but anyway when i keep it on my pocket it's probably gonna be scratched anyway so yeah i'm not too bummed too much but yeah, I wanted something brand new that has no scratches. But then again on the side, you're going to see here numbers for the ruler, right? The other side is inches. I hope you can see it. I'm not sure if you can. I'm just going to zoom a little bit more, a little bit more, right? So there's um, inches here. And then the other side is probably centimeters in terms of how I look at it, right? So I did not read whatever it is written here, but I'm sure... You'll definitely know once you have one it's a centimeter and inches here at the back. So if you can see here, it's three inches, which is credit card size. And uh, there's a slight um, kind of um, um, indentation, uh, what do you call this? Kind of a chamfer on this edge here. Sorry for a lot of bands on this table. And uh, on the back, there's a sort of, I'm not sure what the hole is for here. There's a hole there. But yeah, let's pull out everything on this um, Victor Nist Swiss card classic. So it's classic. I don't know if there's there are other versions, but first and foremost, the one with the cross is gonna be the knife, right? So be careful handling it. So since it is three inches, the knife is also around three inches, as you can see here, right? So this is pretty neat. That's how thin it is. If you look at it. Right, and then I'll put it back in. Slide it in, and then there's the other one here on this side, on the right side. It's the scissors, right? The scissors is about the same size. Just below three inches, as you can see here. Right, and it does feel really good in the hand so you're gonna see on the fake version later on what my impression of it is but this one you can see it's really well machined as you can see here 
you can zoom in if you like but this is uh, pretty well made so let me part it out so it includes that one so probably you'll see an, a lot of videos of this but this is my take on it I'm gonna use it as a PWD or a person with disability I have a spinal cord injury so I need tools that come with me always on my pocket easier for me to handle those things so uh, you have two there and then there's um, this one, the wider gray one, um, it's really tight, right? So it's a nail file, right? So excuse me if there will be a little bit of noise. Somebody's already moving on the next door. It's probably going to turn noisy a little bit <laughs> in this video. I'm trying to record this without people moving around, but hey, I have little kids around. So yeah, so we have nail file there with, I think you can use this as a screwdriver, the tip. Right, so for the length, since we already have a ruler here, it's around two inches, right? And then we have what's next, right? It's the tweezer, right? So the tweezer, probably less than two inches, as you can see here, right? So, yeah, and then we have a toothpick, right? I don't use toothpick because I have <laughs> no teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do have teeth, but it's not needing a to toothpick anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and then, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what the last one is, but yeah. Uh, let me pull it out. It's a pressurized pen, I think. And uh, Yeah, it's a pressurized pen. I'm not sure if my wife has a paper here. Just want to test it out. Uh... I think I did find a paper here on her drawer, right? Uh, let me see if it, this writes writes on out of the box. So you'll have a pen. It's really, really thin. It's around, let's see, two and a half, 2.75 inches. And uh, yeah, let me test it out. Right. So it does write out of the box, right? So subscribe and yeah maybe complete the video watch the video I need a lot of watch hours um, yeah that would definitely help me out so that's about one two three four five six seven tools right it does say in the box here it says basically eight right so we'll see why it says eight here um, I can't, it's really, really small, but it says here, there's 9 and 10, right? So the tools are 1, 1 is letter opener, the knife is the letter opener, right? 2 is the, C, or the scissor, or is the scissor, right here, 2, and then 3 is the stainless steel, Pin. It does have a pin, so I missed one here. Really, really small. I missed one, as you can see here. It does have this one. It's a pin, right? So if you're looking for a pin, you have a pin. I missed this one, right? I missed it one, so it's a pin. So I'm going to put this on the top here. So we have a pin, so that's three already. So I'm hard, it's hard to read these little letters here. So it's stainless steel according to this um, box. And then four, we have the nail file here, four. And then five, we have, yeah, indeed, that's a screwdriver. So that's two in one tool. So six, we have <clears throat> the tweezers, right? The three tweezers. And seven, we have toothpick, right? And then eight, we have a ballpoint pen. And nine, we have a ruler in centimeter. And ten, a ruler in inches. So basically, they doubled up some of it so it can say ten in one, right? So it can say ten in one. But basically, the objects, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. But there's two, two in ones, which is the nail file with the screwdriver and the ruler on both centimeters and inches. So that's a really good compact tool, credit card size. Um, probably if you gift your wife one of this, she's probably gonna love it. 
but for me i already love it especially because of the size of the pen for me and the scissors here and then the pin usually you look for a pin and you can't find one and and if you have this on your pocket then definitely you'll have a pocket pin so i'm just gonna put it back all together to show you how easy it's gonna be put back in so again the pin first because you lose it often right and then we go back to the letter opener then the scissors here right slides back in really easy yep then it's pretty much your, your victorinox tool is like the toothpick here most importantly the bolt and pressure so you can write it up when you're pointing it upward so that's really good so keep on watching um all of my videos i need a watch hour um also share it subscribe to my videos like them and uh yeah just let me know if you have comments about this or questions about this but yeah i'm bummed with the scratches here but yeah that's okay all right so thanks for watching bye bye